The most exciting thing that has happened for multiple myeloma in the past uh, year has been the immunological uh, advances, especially the introduction of the monoclonal antibodies. So we have not had monoclonal antibodies in myeloma for the longest time, and in the last year we have two monoclonal antibodies that were introduced. Uh, in particular, the daratumumab, which is a monoclonal antibody directed against CD38 on the myeloma cells. The results have been quite impressive, both by itself as well as in combination with uh, lenalidomide and botasumib. So the two major classes of drugs that we have in myeloma today, the image and the proteasome inhibitors, both can be combined with daratumumab to give uh, very impressive uh, response rates as well as very durable responses. Similarly, elotuzumab, the second monoclonal antibody, is also uh, being studied in various combinations. In particular, the combination with lenalidomide has significant efficacy and has been shown to be better than just lenalidomide dexamethasone in phase three trial. So we are quite excited about the entry of the monoclonal antibodies into the, into the myeloma space, where the major um, drugs had been the proteasome inhibitors and the immunomodulatory drugs. There are certainly newer versions of the immunomodulatory drugs and the proteasome inhibitors that are in clinical trial and since have been approved. And those ones are also exciting, but I think the, the biggest uh, excitement is how are we going to combine these, the, all these different classes of drugs to get the maximum response possible, the deepest response, and the one that is most durable.